Hello everyone, so welcome to the Diagrams in Anatomy Part 2. Here we will discuss how to draw and present the histology diagrams. Also I will talk about how to learn and visualize them for better results. So first of all, in the histology diagrams, you need to understand there are only two colors like uh, the H and E. Okay, so first of all, the boundary. Always draw a circle, never do the mistake of drawing a square or something like that. A uh, few diagrams have the exception that you can draw a square and then draw, but preferably always draw the compass because that is the universal rule kind of thing. So, uh, like with the compass, I mean, don't draw with hand because that doesn't look good. Next, the labelings. Labelings always on either side, right, left, not the top and bottom. Next, the most common mistake is label the diagram. If it is of the cartilage, hyaline cartilage, okay, write hyaline cartilage here. Don't do like a like question, it is written in question paper. No, you have to label the diagram. Next, in the labelings, uh, after the labelings, you need to understand there is a basic color scheme that the nucleus is in blue and the cytoplasm is pink in color, right? Or the like we can say the fat, adipose tissue is clear in HNE uh, staining. And uh, similarly, you have many other uh, basic color scheme codes. You need to understand this. If you will draw the nucleus with pink, obviously that is the major mistake, right? And we can't question why didn't we get marks in this histodiagram. Next is, now if you want to learn the uh, diagram, see the slide. If you have uh, seen the slide, after that understand, okay, there is like epithelium and after this epithelium I am having um, this layer, then connective tissue and these layers and so on, right? So you need to understand and see the slide, learn the slide and uh, then try to draw a rough diagram. You will get yourself around 70-80% correct if you have understood and seen the slide well. After that, like see what could have been improved in the diagram. Improve it, then you are good to go, right? But one thing, one major mistake is that we don't even know how to draw the basic structure how to draw the columnar epithelium, cuboidal epithelium. This is the main point where our, even our record books are not like properly checked and they are rejected by the teachers. So for columnar epithelium, simple everything, I have a separate histology series, refer that. I have explained how to draw each and every point of epithelium, connective tissue, everything in detail and how to draw like what is the margin, what is the like, um, correct way to draw that diagram right so you need to uh, like after that uh, visualizing the slide you can uh, do one thing to learn uh, just see the labelings okay there is microvilli on the brush border on the epithelium uh, then it is a columnar epithelium it has nuclei on the base then i am having the lamina propria i am having the smooth muscle layer i am having uh, the some adipose tissue blood vessels now I know how to draw the adipose tissue. I know how to draw the blood vessels. I know how to draw the brush border, columnar epithelium, how to draw nucleus, which color to use, and then um, how to draw the stroma or, um, right? Then after that, I also know how to draw the cartilage, that is the hyaline cartilage or any other cartilage, right? So when you like under the, this, uh, for example, uh, I'm having, um, the trachea di diagram then I have learned all the labelings then after learning the labelings I have to just put it in the diagram if I try to learn the diagram I will mix all the diagrams right if I um, try to learn like the diagram as a whole it is not possible you will mix the diagrams you have to learn the labelings and just copy it in the like draw it in the diagram with your own mind. This way you will draw 100% correct diagrams in histology. So this was the way to learn, draw and visualize histology diagrams. If you like this video, then do share it with your friends because sharing is caring.